Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. Zooming in on the topic of the covert or overt narcissist and the psychopathic individual. Um, I get a lot of questions um, from viewers, uh, from people who have been in relationships with these people as to how they can be so heartless. How can they be so cruel? How can they be so calculating? How can they just ignore people's feelings? Um, I, it's very confusing for a lot of people who are in relationships with a narcissist, um, with a psychopath. Uh, very confusing in that they don't understand how they can just allow uh, certain suffering to occur right before their eyes. How are they able to blatantly um, and pathologically lie when you know better? There's evidence to the contrary. How are they able to allow certain suffering to continue right before them? How are they so cruel? How are they so heartless? How are they so cold? How can they not change? So it is important to understand um, certain of the chemistry and uh, dynamics of a covert or overt narcissist. For one, um, they have an inflated sense of self where they, in essence, are very self-absorbed so that they feel very superior to others. So knowing this to be the case, coupled then with, a, with a, another personality trait, which is essentially called a lack of empathy. They do not possess a certain degree or capacity for empathy, which means they're not able to really, um, on a real true level, understand somebody's needs, their wishes, their wants, and their interests. So they're not able to really see this. They're not able to reflect this back to you. They are not able to um, acknowledge this. So they're not able to essentially receive your message. So oftentimes people say, well, you know, how, how can they do this? How come, you know, um, how can they be so cruel? How can they be so calculating? How can they um, exploit others and know that others are suffering? Realize that it's it, at the rock bottom of, of these two components, an inflated sense of superiority of themselves. So that, that, that drive for them to be superior, to be in control, to, of, over others. So it's a need to control others, a need to have power over others that that's stemming from, coupled with a lack of empathy, meaning those two uh, combinations together create a very driven person who can essentially not be limited by the concern that someone is getting hurt. So in other words, um, you know, they are not for example, it's almost like a hit and run. You know, most people, if they were to, you know, run over somebody and hear screaming and crying, you know, they were going to pull over the car and then essentially see what happened. Do you know what I'm saying? You'd have that, oh my gosh, what happened? And they'd run to their rescue. Well, you know, imagine that if you did not have that gut reaction in a hit and run, if you were to hit and run and see somebody and just basically say to yourself, well, they were in the way anyway, and basically not feel that they had done anything wrong. That is in essence what's going on in the mind of the narcissist or the psychopath. And that is a very brutal, uh, awful example. Um, but I really think it's important to understand through allegorical, uh, er allegorically, for you to understand, I would say the quote unquote normal healthy person um, with a sense of humanity, for you to understand that in essence, you know, the um, narcissist and the psychopath which is on our spectrum you know you have you know the psychopath or I'm sorry the the narcissist and then the psychopath which is an even heightened sense of uh, narcissism where they really do, do not even have a conscience with literally zero morality I mean they're able to commit huge crimes and not really feel anything they are essentially only aroused by having power over somebody um, it's a very sick thing and um, before we go on to that, I want you to understand that there's all sorts of people who are extremely accomplished, who have extremely amazing foundations and run incredible businesses who do have a heart, who do have an empathy, who do have a, a, a sense to provide for others. You know, so I do want you to understand that not all, you know, people who are, um, you know, accomplished possess that. But 
in the in the narcissist um, and in the psychopath, they they do they they do not have the ability to really see or own that they have done anything wrong, so they're not able to uh, really repair it. They really don't have the tools to do the relationship repair. They're they're not able to see their shortcomings. They're not able to um, fess up. They're not able to apologize. They're not able to see where this was hurtful. Um, they know to a certain point that certain things you know, um, had to happen, you know, they had to pathologically lie, they had to become pathologically envious. Some are more aware than others, um, but you know, they're really essentially powerless over themselves in, in terms of, you know, uh, perpetuating that abuse. So that they, they, they're not, even with feedback, even with feedback, they're not able to change. So I think that's very important to understand um, why they're able to hurt because, you know, um, sometimes their, their pathological lying and their um, allegations are so uh, overinflated, meaning in other words, the things that they complain about and get control over their, uh, the narcissistic rage is so heightened to the circumstance. Um, you know, I've known people who, you know, um, I mean, they would just as soon, um, you know, end a familiar relationship because, you know, their jewelry knocked on a piece of table. I mean, you know, your, you know, your jewelry is knocking on this table. You know, you're, you're scuffing up the furniture. Um, you know, it's, it's like those allegations when it's just like, there's no scuff. Um, the jewelry did not injure the table, but you're being lambasted, you're being berated for, you know, uh, something which, which has not really incurred anything, but it's, it's a inflated um, overreaction. So, and they feel very entitled to this, but yet it's really out of control. It has no basis in reality. So I think what um, people need to understand that oftentimes, you know, they operate in um, a certain realm which is disconnected from uh, a truth. I mean, they're so far removed um, through their defense mechanisms um, and their pathological lies that they're they're they that they're, they're so out of touch, um, and so really it's in in the knowledge of those personality dynamics that they're able to really create um, the sort of hurt and the sort of sort of abhorrent uh, behavior um, towards others who are significant and very you know close in their life. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos help. Please do share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.